guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we are here to go over a detailed guide on how to build your Enigma Cherno. This guide is, is kind of flexible, but there are certain things that will really, really be a must for her. Um, clearly, I'm just going to give you guys a short summary of how she is all about. So she gives she basically gives the smg a new you know a new life in terms of um before smgs were were really were were considered as a inferior weapon but now with her kit with her smg uh her smg gives another dimension on how it's being used plus her skill added to it we're gonna go over her skills in a while um she does probably have the the most massive damage potential in the game probably i'm not sure not sure i'm not gonna i'm 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 i'm, I'm actually comparing her to the damage output of yao versus her they might be toe to toe in terms of damage um she has a little bit of an orthodox unorthodox um gameplay so she's kind of unique if you want to use her over yao so without further ado guys let's go over the first um topic which is going to be her skills starting with soul's bane this is her standard skill this is more for damage i'm just gonna go give you guys a brief summary of the skill this is her meat and potatoes so this is the, the this is why she is going to be great. Okay, so you're gonna be hearing the word enmity for quite uh, a quite a long time in this video. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be mentioned in almost all the skills except for the support skill. Enmity, as you can see here, is I'm gonna go jump into it. It has a duration of 25 seconds, dealing one instance of chaos damage to the target for every. 0.5 seconds this damage is not affected by weak spot or fortified parts effects enmity is counted as a kind of dazed effect so dazed effect with with kind of they've kind of really um pinpointed what it is it was actually it's going to be explained later in in, in i think in, in the logistics that i'm going to be discussing but the dazed effect has a other counterparts but this one is going to be another one which is called enmity and has to and uh, can have up to 300 stacks so basically enmity is enmity is a stack counter which deals damage over time okay and also if you summon a void so going back to the top so summons a void of self-loading at the target's location so void plus enmity if the target does enmity stacks and the target is within void or at least one void if you can actually put maximum three voids but the damage of of the three won't be applied to you only one void so it's not cumulative actually so only one void can deal damage even though that single target is near to all three voids okay so that is actually how this void mechanic works so when created it inflicts a target with its aoe and with 30 stacks of enmity uh, enmity so take note that the void even adds to enmity and as the target remains in the aoe inflicts an additional one stack of enmity every second so it helps so the void helps give you enmity your gun actually gives you enmity so it shoots it adds to your stacks of enmity and i think it's the quickest way to add to your enmity so this effect does not stack up to three voids of self-loading can exist in the field at once okay so this is the one that cannot stack so again only one void can damage one target even though there are three voids near that target okay i hope you guys understand that so enmity plus void is it is is actually um equal to a detonation so if you have your enmity on a target and if you have a void you can detonate that um that void dealing massive damage okay so going to that when the void of self-loading is on the field 
Cherno can charge the self, uh, void of self loading to pull in enemies and detonate it. This is the one that I'm, you know, telling you about. So you may hold the standard skill and she detonates it. Can also charge while the skill is in cooldown. While charging, the, the damage dealt by the enemy becomes more frequent when the void of self loading is detonated. Deals one instance of uh, chaos damage two targets around Cherno and um, Void of Self-Loading. So basically, when detonation happens, including Cherno, um, uh, deals damage as well as the Void, the other Voids detonate. Okay? So, and clears all MVT stacks on them once it detonates. After charging, resets the cooldown of Soul's Bane, which is the standard skill, and restores 12 S energy for Cherno per Void of self-loading detonated so take note here the multiplier for the skills is basically the attack stat of Cherno. that is why it, it has to be built up so again enmity which is the stacks plus void equals detonation sometimes i do not detonate the voids because i like to have them there to do you know probably damage over time so more or less, it's up to you how you want to play this. But again, I see a little bit of flexibility in using your kit. I'd like sometimes to put the void there just to make sure that, especially if if the enemies comes in waves and they pass through a sing singular point of entry, I would put a void there so that everybody would pass and everybody would probably be, uh, you know, would be melted by the time they come to you. So again, the, the, her kit is very flexible this skill i really really like because it's flexible the detonation works more for bosses the damage over time works more for um mobs or people coming after you or attacking you or rushing for you okay for the neural skills these two are important when the target has full stacks of enmity it deals an additional final damage dealt by 20 percent and when they equipped with a chaos weapon that is why it's important that you give her a chaos weapon we're gonna go through weapons later in terms of what weapon is preferred for her when equipped with a chaos weapon shoots the ricochet with where well, shots with ricochet will inflict the target with two stacks of enmity instead so that is why i mentioned that ricochet the ricochet of smgs has been negated by this skill of Cherno. So that is why I really, re really like how she is built. She has kind of given a chance to SMG operatives that is actually in your rosters, particularly starting with her. Not so much with the previous ones, but for her, she actually gives SMGs a life and or a new life to probably have after after the bunch of complaints regarding ricochet and why <laughs> smgs are not really really good for armored units but let's move with her support skill so um damage as well so this is with control only this skill doesn't have mbt so churn on knocks targets into the air dealing chaos damage and applying slow to the target for two seconds hits the target and then inflict with 10 stacks of shimmer so that's Shimmer. After three seconds, Shimmer begins to disappear by one stack per second when shot hits with target. Shot hits a target with Shimmer, detonates all targets with Shimmer, and deals extra chaos damage. Again, the multiplier for the skill, the knock up, and the Shimmer detonation is going to be attack stats. So again, there's a trend here. Make sure that you increase her base attack stat neural skill um and add on so you have increase of aoe rising raise of 50 percent then the other one is decrease the disappearance of uh, rate of shimmer by 50 percent so again a nice skill to have but i think you won't be using it as much unless if you're using it in co-op um i think you have an opportunity but if you're using it with other operatives that you'd like to have then this skill most likely you won't be using as much okay to the second most important skill that she has so moonlit annihilation um it's hot here in the philippines it's summer already so <laughs> even with, a, with an where with an air conditioning unit i am still sweating so ultimate skill damage it's a, it's a special 
you can choose to switch stay in or stay out for this so choose to stay in Cherno summons an aoe attack from above dealing chaos damage to uh, targets and inflict them with 100 stacks of enmity for 25 seconds it's an outrageous 1000 percent of chaos attack plus seven four five this is very outrageous guys so once you do the technique basically the skill rotation is um once you use your ultimate then stacks of 100 mt comes in more or less the crescent moon um the crescent moon the, the, there's a there's an indicator there that your stacks are full the mt stacks which is a crescent moon um this makes it easier for air mt to to you know to be filled then probably before because after this you get, if there are less than three voids of self-loading in the field the voids of self-loading will be formed around the target until the limit is reached so basically this is best if you don't have voids in the field you use this it creates voids increase your mt to 300 from that 100 that is being given from here then once you're at full detonate it for maximum damage so that is actually why um, one of the support characters or operatives is actually important for her, uh, which is Tess. I'm going to do a spoiler now. But Tess is important for her, especially if you want to cycle that ultimate skill quickly, then definitely Tess should be in your roster. The other neural skill here is the AO attack um, of Erased in Moonlight also inflicts targets with slow for four seconds. So again, additional um, control for your character. And the last is the day was alignment. So when Cherno shoots a target, inflicts two stacks of enmity for 25 seconds. So additional mechanic to build on that enmity. Um, deal skills damage to the 30% of Cherno's attack. Again, attack stat. Attack, uh, base attack stat plus 0.1% of number of enmity stacks every 0.5 seconds for each 100 alignment index. Also, take note that you need to add to your alignment index in whatever shape or form. We'll go to that later for your uh, logistics. So enmity multiplier increased by an extra of 5% of church attack. This counts as a standard skill damage okay so this is going to be important as well okay the skill of cherno is going to be um you know it's, it's going to be it's going to revolve around the standard skill um then the second one would be the ultimate then the third one would be your support skill so again uh, understand the mechanics um again simple equation enmity plus void equals detonation that is how you understand her skill okay so moving on to her weapon so for her weapon i'm actually using dawn's ballad because this one has a multiplier for chaos damage by 18 if you have two copies of this gun this elevates to 30 percent chaos damage increase okay and this is ridiculous when the equipping operative deals damage inflicts a target with fond farewell effect for three seconds and grants self one stock stack of sapper of reunion for three seconds fawn farewell increase damage taken from day's effect by five percent so again it's a buff it's a it's basically a buff weapon so buff for day's effect for chaos damage and buff for damage as well and increase attack by 18 percent so there's a lot of buffs in this weapon I will recommend this primarily because it is a must-have weapon. If you don't have this yet, and if you're planning to get the four-star weapon that she has, let me just go through um, that weapon. So it's called Halo of Hope. This one is... Uh, you can actually farm this in the limited shop. For each stack of days, the target has increased damage dealt by the equipping operative to the target by 1.2% up to 20 stacks. So it's just one buff. 
technically this gun will just help you go through if you're still farming for the um her signature weapon again um i have had uh, read that um, um somewhere that uh, 100 battle veteran um is recommended but i don't think it is because although it's chaos damage it's more for uh ballistic damage uh not so much for the skills of your operative so i'm not recommending 100 battle Be veteran only this if you have the halo of hope and the signature weapon for um cherno enigma which is going to be uninvited ado it also has an attack boost of 50 percent which is also also good because it plays into her kit so take note of that guys weapon again this is a must pull at this point okay so going through her logistics zany squad is the only squad that i'm recommending because it plays um it plays to her kit it plays to her mechanic and it complements her very much so three officers if you have all three increase the damage dealt by gashed bird is what i mean by the other dazed effects gashed burn frostbite these are dazed effects so take note they're under that category okay static dazed effects um inflicted by equip uh, equipping operative by 50 percent of each damage ignores the target's defense based on the number of stacks of the respective effect so based on the number of enmity stacks um defense will be ignored maximum of this is going to be i think maximum 20 percent of defense okay so ridiculous logistics this is actually tailor made for her really um as for the stats uh as much as possible please do have attack stat percentage um attack percentage second would be alignment index third would be obvious which is chaos um chaos damage or chaos chaos damage attack chaos damage sorry chaos damage so three again attack percentage alignment index and chaos damage should be your top three i don't see any of the other stats to be changed unless if you know if you prefer other stats um if you prefer um i think skill haste is also good um if you're into putting out a lot of voids in the field but i i've tried it out i don't think you need it so definitely you're gonna be going to be attack next up is going to be alignment index and lastly is chaos damage okay moving on to manifestation so we have five manifestations m1 definitely a yes you should get this as soon as possible it's not hard to farm m1 so when a shot hits a target within a void of self-loading has a 60 percent chance to um inflict one extra stack of mt so this adds to your stacks which uh is actually nice the other one is m2 m1 and m2 get them as soon as you can <clears throat> So when the void of self-loading is detonated, increases final damage of detonation by 10% for each void of self-loading in the field. Again, this is a must for you to increase um, DPS boosts. So this M1 and M2, definitely you need to make sure that you have them. You continue farming them even if you only have one copy of her. That would be okay. M3, um, not really important. Um, it's just a bridge that you need to cross to M4 and 5. For every 60 stacks of MED the target has, it takes an additional instance of chaos damage equal to 150% of, of Churn's attack. 4, however, is needed. Soul's Bane in skill level 1, where Churn detonates void of self loading, increases chaos damage dealt to targets of to 99.9% 9 .9 of turns attack number number of en enmity stacks on the target these words are actually going to be tongue twisters um i'm sorry and the last one is m5 if a target with full stacks of enmity is not defeated when the void of self-loading is detonated then it will be inflicted with additional 50 stacks of enmity within the next two seconds so this 
is going to give you additional damage. So definitely, you have to go through M4 and N5 and eventually level her up fully in terms of manifestations. But again, um, if you want the urgent, the urgent ones, uh, please do go up to M2 because this uh, both M1 and M2 will gonna be uh, be boosting your DPS damage. Okay. Neuronics wise, I kind of discussed this earlier when we're, we were discussing skills. So priority for Neuronics, I discussed each and every one earlier with the skills. I'm not going to discuss them anymore. But priority if you are not yet, uh, if you still have, uh, if you don't have enough to level up all, priority takes with, takes, uh, with a number, um, number of priority is going to be your standard skill. Next is going to be your ultimate, then the last will be your support skill. So that is for your Neuronics. Okay, so as for Team Comp, um, there are a few choices here. She, she's she's really, really flexible in terms of Team Comp because she has a lot of friends. She, she, she makes a lot of friends. Even with four-star operatives, um, you have a couple of choices here. So I'll start with Chen Xing, four-star. So this is Chen Xing, four-star. What you need from her is going to be her, um, this one. Increase the standard skill damage by 10% for three seconds. And plus, she gives you healing for, you know, for this skill. So this is actually nice for her. As a versatile buffer and a versatile healer, you can actually use her with Chen Xing 4-star. The other 4-star that I am recommending, which um, is going to be used, I think, uh, quite often if you don't have other operatives, is going to be uh, yeah, uh, Marion 4-star. Marion 4-star support skill is going to be beneficial for 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 um chaos for chaos for cherno enigma because of this one after hitting the target with gay bulg if the target isn't shielded decrease decrease the target's chaos resistance by 20 percent this is going to be for her support skill better get this i did level up all of her um what do you call this all of her neuronics only her i'm oh, sorry i did level it up i was supposed to level up only the support skill you don't have to level up the um standard and ultimate skill just level up um the support skill for neuronics so uh again going back this is what you need from her as far as again for um, support skill this is going to be it and also um build her with this weapon disco confusion because um, this weapon here, when dealing damage with a support skill, targets chaos resistance decreases by 10% for 5 seconds. Currently, I don't have this at tier 5. I have this at tier 4. So if you build this up to tier 5, the damage resistance is going up to 12%. So 2, 4 stars. I'm going to give you other options for 5 stars, by the way. Five star is going to be first. Um, gonna go with Shadow Ka. Where is Shadow Ka? Shadow Ka, where are you? Uh, not you. Can't seem to find her. Here she is with an eye patch. Shadow Ka is going to give you a good, um, you know an effective way of putting on stacks of um stacks of enmity because of this one you can shoot actually the dummy and uh we don't have to you know especially if it's a boss that keeps on going around don't have to go run after that boss just shoot the dummy and pour on a lot of enmity on that um boss or that um enemy uh also um bumps up the damage for her um for ballistic damage so you can actually use um shadow ka as well the other one that you can actually use which is for me it, she is mostly what i use is going to be akasha kaguya okay 
because of this one the halo moon effect which decreases all types of resistance by 24 plus um she can suck nearby targets going to the middle it's actually good also to combo with the void so that's why i'm using her um this is a, she's going to be a nice uh, operative to have and the last i'm gonna be recommending five uh, the last one obviously is going to be tess i mentioned tess already tess is going to be um making sure that your ultimate cycles faster so that you can pull out the ultimate as frequent as possible so those are the five that i'm recommending for any healer you can just put any of the healers i'm not really i'm not really recommending anybody specific uh she does work well with any of the healers but for a specific to her damage you have tess you have um, the magician kaguya uh shadowka four star marian and four star chen Sheng. So those are the five that I'm recommending. I do hope that you... It, it really depends on how you want to play her, how you want to use her. So definitely a, you know, a... If you have all of them, you have a lot of choice depending on what you have right now on your playstyle as well and on what you want to prioritize. So moving back to her. Okay, sure, no Enigma, what are my you know my thoughts for her first and foremost if you're starting the game now if you're a beginner definitely get her i'm going to be putting i'm going to be putting out a beginner's guide for snow break um if you're starting at this point these um those are the things that or the tips that i would recommend learning from when we started last year july up to now and considering the new operatives that come in Cherno is really a must especially if, if you're free to play if you're a beginner again you should get her she's going to make your you know your progress easier uh we had it it was difficult to progress before but with Cherno I think it's you know you you're lucky that you're going to be getting her her banner is is up and around for I think more than a month so more time for you to get her i think now is the right time to get her if you are a beginner okay fun to use um not really restrictive multiple team comps versatile build and definitely guys take note she is tier zero she's gonna be she's gonna be tier zero uh in most of um the players and how you're gonna be ranking her or rating her she is up there top dps uh can go wrong with her guys so please take her now summon for her because when that banner is gone it's gonna be a while until we get her rerun so that is it guys um i'm gonna do a timestamp for this video so that you could go a quick reference depending on which part of the video would like to go back to i'll be putting them in the description and also guys i appreciate your comments while you're here please do subscribe i really really appreciate that and thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here